Hey everyone, welcome back to ZZ Plays LP of Super Mario 63. Um, in the first part of part Let's 29? Go. Yeah, it's weird to say too. Yeah, I, I took out, um, Kamek's, um, castle. I, um, went up against Kamek in Kamek's castle. And again, even though that was the second run of Kamek's castle, um, after that, um, as you may have seen, I had too many dropped frames to really use the second part. So, believe it or not, I'm actually filming this part, I'm actually capturing this part, after I captured, um, uh, part 31. And so that's why I have so many shine sprites at this point. And in fact, I'm going to be re revisiting a Let's shine go. sprite officially, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Before I do that, though, I need to see why this toad is so distressed. Ah! Uh, I touched a. Oh, yeah, I think it's just like the other one. Uh, he's touching a flame, and so it's now running around on the control lead, just like the toads in Super Mario 64. So, okay, um, this, the um, here we are in the star room. This is actually the first time that you're going to be seeing this, even though it's not the first time for me. Um, but yeah, you have to double jump right up into here, and it takes you to Tick Tock Clock. Now, we... You haven't seen the other two yet, I've taken care of them. But the one that, um, I failed to record that, um, had too many drop frames is this one, the top of the clock. Uh, make your way across this wacky world of chronoic chaos. I'm going to assume that that's correct. <laughs> but anyways, um... Because I shouldn't have any flood nozzles at this point, I'm only going to use flood nozzles as I get them. So, we're just going to go right in with nothing equipped. That's a go indeed. Alright, this is the third mini course, and we need to do well. So, okay, I think I just spontaneously triple jumped. I don't think I did anything to prompt. That being the third jump, and yeah, that pendulum will actually hurt you. But at least you can still duck under it and not take any damage. So we're gonna have to continue here. And sweet, we have made our way across to here at the very least. And oh god, oh, okay, that pendulum will scrape you off if you um, are not careful, if you don't time it correctly. Thankfully, I did. So we can move on with a little bit more ease. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you want to get up here. And, okay, there are a lot of pendulums over to the left here. We have to save that for later. Um. Yeah, you'll see those in a later episode, even though I have taken care of the shine spread over there. But for now, we're going to take this sling star all the way up to here, try to take out this Goomba along the way, and this Babam. and generally I'm just going to be walking tank. Yeah, here later is, if you saw up there, where we're going to get the red coins. Again, we have to save that for later, that's for a different part. Um, right now, we're just trying to climb up these squares, which can be incredibly difficult to platform over. And, come on. Okay. Work my way up. Oh boy. And here we are again. Now I'm gonna take this platform, which is moving very slowly, but you have to still find a way to negotiate the way over. No! Alright, looks like I fell down, and so I'm gonna have to redo this one part. So I'm gonna cut ahead until I get back up there, and I'll see you then. Alright, we're back up here. Let's make another run with this platform and after this pendulum. All right, much clear jump, but no, no, I fall back down. Eww. All right, let's see if we can get back up there quickly. Um, yeah, still waiting. And there's the platform again, and now we can ride it over. And gotta make sure to time it correctly. Like that, fantastic. Okay, and we are coming up to here with that good lugger. And now I'm going to permit, permit myself to use the flood nozzle because I just picked it up. And so even if I didn't have anything um, equipped or even earned before, 
then there that is. There's this um star coin up here. I've already obtained it. So that's cool. And now we're gonna keep moving across these conveyors. Come on, bring me back up. Very nice. Okay. Just gotta keep moving. It's just all these all the sorts of platforming stuff that you have to try to handle. Whoa! Hey! Oh, that was mean. <laughs> the sling star just ejected me and... Oh, are you serious? <laughs> well, at least now I have the flood nozzle. That will make it easier to get all the way back up there, but I'm not going to show the entire process again to you, so I'm going to cut ahead until I get back up there. See ya. Alright, taking the sling star again, and please do not eject me off this time. That would not be appreciated. There's another star coin right up there, if you saw it. It's uh, up above, right above the pendulum. I'll probably give you an arrow for it in uh, editing. <laughs> so, now here we are, a lot more pendulums to squish you. And this time, they want you to jump on top of there, and here's where you can get the rocket nozzle. Um, I'm not supposed to have the turbo nozzle yet, so I won't use that, but really, I don't see any use for it this time. I found it to be useful in the past, not right now. Okay, here we are again, we're going to move our way up, and this is where the, um, and this is where the rocket nozzle can really come into play. I think what, um, Rana wanted us to do was actually to jump on top of the, um, clock faces or the hands of the clock. I think you may have seen them earlier, but I have a much more straightforward way, and that is this. Using the rocket nozzle to get up to here, and then double jumping again with the rocket nozzle to go ahead and grab that shine sprite. Here we go! And yeah, again, that was the shell of the shine sprite because I had already obtained it. So there you go, top of the clock. Uh, there's the uh, shine sprite I went back and showed for you guys. So, that's that, I'm going to save up, and that's going to be it for part 29. Uh, yeah, now you can go ahead and hopefully see part 30 unfragmented. Alright, um, yeah, that's going to be all for now, and I'll see all you guys around.